the big night has arrived. Millions of viewers from around the world are tuning in for the UEFA Europa League final. My name is Derek Ray. My co-commentator to help describe all the action is the former Arsenal defender Lee Dixon. And with the atmosphere building to fever pitch, we're just minutes away from kickoff time here. It's Sevilla up against Inter. Well, night games, European football, where does it get any better? Well, it does if you're in the final. But with finals, they're horrible if you lose. Make sure you win if you get here. A lineup for Sevilla. We're thinking 4 3 3. Yeah, one central striker, Derek. The width comes from the wingers, it will stay high and wide. Very narrow midfield and a conventional back four. Inter's lineup is as follows. Wing backs are important in this setup. Did you enjoy your experience of playing at wing back league? Not at all. Under Bruce Roy, it's a very, very demanding role, as we can see. The full backs are exposed both offensively and defensively. Lots of support inside them, but going forward, they need to try and get the ball into the box for the two up front. It is the Europa League final, and they are underway. Johan Jordan. Now Brozovic. And the throw in forthcoming. Now Brozovic, Fernando, Vanega, here's Fernando, Suso has it, and now Suso, will he play it in, and the danger clear, Young, Romelu Lukaku now, Kaku. Oh, goodness, he was right on top of the situation to get the ball back for his team. Jesus Navas. Here's Fernando. Johan Jordan. Suso with it. And the cross not quite accurate enough. Attack promising as it was scuppered there. They've given it away. And as they continue to pass it around, the attack goes through Lukaku. And it is the opening goal of the contest. Well, it was always going to be a tight game, but now all of a sudden, one team ahead. Things have got to change on both sides. Well, it's not a brilliant goal, but it's a goal. It's in the back of the net. Keeper couldn't do anything about it. And the goal that was scored, well worth another look, Lee. And back playing here with Inter, the team holding the advantage. Ocampos. Johan Jordan. Yusef El Naziri. Jesus Navas now. 
Rennes superbly to take back possession. And now Vanega. Lucas Ocampos. Here's Fernando. This might pay dividends. And the penalty has been given here. He's been admonished by the referee. He's now got to walk something of a tightrope. Yeah, he knows exactly where he stands. Look at the referee, how he's told him off there. No yellow card, but certainly knows what the referee's thinking. Gagliardini, Romelu Lukaku, let's see what he has in store for them, no worries for the keeper, well a sloppy clearance, what can the opposition do with this, the object of the exercise is to keep them out, Cross is very much on. Lukaku in position. He knows more than most about the art of finishing. Romelu Lukaku. Well, he put some superb balls in from the wide areas. And that one's probably the best. And what did they get? Reward, a goal. Slightly different vantage point in terms of the goal that was scored. Well, a second goal for them here. And three minutes will be added on for stoppages. Suso has it. Johan Jordan. Well, can he make this move count? The defender doing his job. So half time it is in this battle for Europa League glory. And who would have thought it would be so one sidedly? Well, yeah, we've had one sided drama, and at the moment. We're looking at the end of the game and it's only half time, so surely something's got to happen in the dressing room. Senior players, coaches, players have got to step up to the plate in this second half. Been awful in the first half, what can you do in the second? The quest for Europa League success and the second half of this final is underway. For Inter, ball lost. Ocampos. And a throw in forthcoming. Now Godin. Varela has it. And here is Gagliardini. D'Ambrosio. Well, let's see, does he mean business? And it's gone behind for the corner. You've certainly got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Lee. 
Well, Derek, he's had a stormer, hasn't he? Scored a goal. He's certainly troubled all the defenders around there as well. I think there's more to come in the second half. Brozovic taking. Fox clear. And now De Frey. Will there be a tangible end product? Wonderful block. Yusef N. Naziri given away. Johan Jordan. And now N. Naziri. And now Banega. Fernando. Banega. This attack looks highly promising. Not messing around with that clearance. Now Brozovic. Inter have given away possession. Carrying a genuine threat here. Suso has it. Johan Jordan. Suso with it. Great save following the close-range effort. Look how close he gets to the goalkeeper. It's a really, really good save in the end. And we have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. And a deep ball in. Not fantastic defending. Let's see if it helps the opposition. A concession of a corner here. Substitution time it is. And firing it into the area. We had a decent reading of that ball in. And this is Navas. Romelu Lukaku now. Is he going to punish them here? Almost his second goal of this match. But the goalkeeper had his own views on that subject. Well, he'd be looking for a brace to strike it. Not to be on that occasion. Lukaku. Now, what can he do here? Suso has it. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. He's very adept at protecting the ball. Just ten minutes to go. Ran it superbly to take back possession. And now Banega. Diego Carlos. Jules Kunde on the ball. Much defensive cover there on the flank. Johan Jordan. Munia in possession. Given away by Inter. And the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time. We have entered the final minute of normal time. And here is Gagliardini. And a strong tackle. And there's the whistle. This UEFA Europa League final has been decided. Disappointment on one side, but sheer jubilation on the other. 
And my goodness, Lee, they deserve it. Absolutely deserve it. They were running the clock down at the end. The referee obliged and blew his whistle. Quite rightly so. They're now on the halfway line celebrating with all their teammates. I'm pretty sure all the subs, etc., will come running on as well. A great, great night for this football club. It's a party to last throughout the year, I should think. I'm very happy to be celebrating good times in the Europa League. And now the trophy awaits them. Well, all those months of hard training sessions, pre-season training, you kind of look forward to get yourself through those sessions. And they'll be looking forward at moments like this. They've finally got their hands on this fantastic, magnificent trophy. This is what they've wanted. Now it's in their possession. The winners of the UEFA Europa League. Long celebrations into the night. I'm pretty sure, Derek, is going to go on and on. Yeah, I think they have every intention of making this last as long as possible. One more trophy left. Why not? Yes. Well, this is the moment I love sharing it with the fans. Ticker tapes coming down, the families in the stand giving them all a wave. Well, they've travelled all over Europe watching this team. Now they get to share in this moment. Fantastic. And it took fire as well as ice on the pitch. And pictures now to be captured for eternity. What an experience, Lee. It is, yeah. Get yourself on the front row. That's what my mum always said. <laughs> You're in the photographs right next to that trophy. The Europa League winners.